Hi guys, today I'm facing a problem at my work where we have to drill nearly 5,000 holes overhead into concrete. Now if, like me, you've ever done overhead work, it doesn't take long for your shoulders to get tired, so it's clear we're going to need some sort of machine to help us get this job done. A quick Google search turned up a few options, but when we went to purchase them, they were either out of stock or would not arrive in time to meet our schedule. So it looks like I'm going to have to roll up my sleeves and build something. So I'm going to be building this machine completely from scratch. I made up a few sketches to figure out the basics, but I'm going to start building and just see where it goes. I'm starting out cutting up some steel parts for the main mechanical section, which I'm going to control with pulleys and a hand crank. Then drilling holes and everything for bolts and pins. Now I'm cutting out a little opening for the wire rope to exit the pulley to get back to the hand crank. Then building the base that'll hold the lower pulley, lower half of the jack section, and the hand crank. Now I'm putting a second pulley at the top of this lower section and starting to work on the lifting rod. Making sure there's clearance for it, then installing a third pulley at the bottom of it. Next I fit the upper section of the jack over the lower section then prepare a cap plate that will be welded to the lifting rod and then bolted to the upper section. First I weld the plates to the upper section. Then with the lifting rod supported, tack the cap plate to the rod, then remove it to weld them together. Now I start feeding the wire rope through the lower section, around the pulleys, and attach a clamp on one end to anchor the cable in place. Then with the upper section installed again, I bolt the cap plate to it. After a few adjustments, I have the cable and pulley system aligned and functioning properly. Next I attach the wire rope to the hand crank and test the lifting mechanism. With that working, I welded the hand crank to the mounting plate. For the lower section of the stand, I wanted quite a bit of adjustability, which meant a lot of holes to drill. So I cheated a little and used one of the metalworking machines at work to automate the process. Back home I started cutting more tubing to make the base. I welded that together and added some casters.
Next, I cut the inner section of the adjustable base. With the lower section plumbed and welded in place, I installed the inner section and set the lifting mechanism on top and tacked it in place. After a few adjustments to ensure it was lifting as straight as possible, I welded the top mechanism to the lower base. With the bulk of the work done, I cycled the lifting mechanism to test it out. So far, so good. Now it's time for a little scuff and some paint. While that paint dries, I'm going to cut a bit of wood to make a platform for the vacuum cleaner to sit on and attach that to the base. Now with the paint dry, I'm going to reassemble the machine then start working on the drill mount. The idea here is that the drill will rest in a little channel and be clamped to a vertical rod to keep it straight. I wanted the drill stand to be adjustable so we can make sure the drill and bit are drilling straight into the concrete. So I added a slot in one of the mounting holes. I'm just checking the alignment and then welding the mount up. Then giving it a coat of silver paint. Finally, I weld the mount to the stand and attach the drill to be sure everything fits correctly. Now I'm adding a sliding rod to hold the vacuum hose and nozzle. This is going to be spring loaded so that it stays up near the ceiling but is able to retract as the drill moves upward. I'm using a piece of flat bar to hold the vacuum nozzle straight and clamp it in place. One of my biggest worries using wire rope and pulleys for this lifting device is having the cable come off. So I needed a way to keep constant pressure on the mechanism to keep the cable tight in the pulleys. To achieve this, I added two fairly strong springs to the assembly to help hold the top section tight and help it retract as the crank is released. With all the mechanical work done, I'm going to start on the electrical. I'm adding a box here to hold an outlet and a switch so that when the vacuum and drill are plugged in, we can leave their power switches in the on position and just use this switch on the unit to turn them on and off remotely. This makes sure that the vacuum is sucking away the dust as soon as the drill is turned on. And here I'm just testing out the electrical and lifting mechanism again.
So I thought I was finished this build, but I was worried that the torque from the drill might cause the machine to move around while drilling. So I decided to add a stabilizing leg that the operator can just flip down and stand on for additional stability. And of course I wanted the leg to stand out so I painted it safety yellow. As you can tell I'm quite proud of this build so while I was waiting for the yellow paint to dry I decided to add my channel logo to the stand. This is a laser cutout I had left over from another project but I think it looks pretty good on the base. With that done I reassembled the machine and added some rubber feet to the stabilizer and attached it to the base. Well, that just about wraps this project up. I have to say, this is probably one of the coolest things that I've ever built. So we're gonna be bringing this on site this week and we're gonna give it a shot. You can see here the springs that I added to give some extra tension to pull down that top piece, which works great. I even added a little touch here to my logo. And this is a, a little pedal to put down to help stabilize the machine so it doesn't move while drilling. You can see here the little arm for the vacuum cleaner. And we have the depth adjustment rod. Very cool. Quite happy with this. Can we try it out this week? Hey guys, so today we're getting a little sneak peek into what I do for a living. We actually have the drill rig here on site and we're testing it out just down the end of the hall there. So let's go check that out. Well, that's going to be it for this project. This machine works great, better than I expected, and I'm really happy with the results. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do, and I'll see you in the next one.